Hello everyone, I'm Brendan Marcel. This is Joel A. Erickson. We spoke to Ellis Johnson today, defensive coordinator for Auburn. And when we do that, it's like Christmas for quotes. And speaking of what Christmas and what you get on Christmas, we talked packages. More specifically, we talked sub packages today. Those are like little ones. Uh, no, we, we asked him about uh, the, the dime and that they're kind of working on with an extra star. It's, it's really kind of, looks like it's kind of a modified 335 or can be. I don't have a dime in my pocket, uh, I look for a dime. Can be a lot of different things. The simple way of putting it, they take a defensive lineman off the field, put a defensive back on the field, and it allows them to do more stuff. More things. Uh, the interesting thing to me, I asked him, uh, you know, if he wanted to get back to some of that stuff he talked about when he was first hired, about having yeah. lots of substitution packages, uh, lots of guys rolling in and out, you know, shifting up uh -huh. the system. He said it's 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 kind of hard because you can't really do that anymore because teams move so quickly. Yeah, that's a very interesting point by him, and he's kind of he's. He, we know some of the comments he said when he was at South Carolina about up-tempo offenses, and he kind of changed his tune when he got, once he got here. And really it helps him, as he said, going against an up-tempo team every day in practice. But when you do get game time, you have little to no time to really substitute. As he mentioned today, if you're in third down and they're not switching personnel, and or if they do it quickly and you don't have time to really react, you've got to be ready anyway. So that's one of the big reasons why they do not want to go in and install multiple sub packages because really they're not really going to be able to use it and if they try to use it you open yourself up for more mistakes because they're putting more on the players here's what really interests me about it ellis johnson he's only been here for a season now yeah. uh, a little more than i guess a year and a half something like that uh, he's very flexible he, he alters a lot based on what yeah. he's seeing uh, he nothing he's not married to any part of his scheme yeah. uh, which you don't necessarily see see a lot from a defensive coordinator so uh, what he's saying is basically because here's the other thing it's not just the hurry up teams you hear, you hear us say that you say Ellis is just thinking about the hurry up teams but Georgia ran no huddle on them last year That's Alabama how they got ran back no the huddle on them at times last year all of those pro style teams have no huddle in there and it does the exact same thing that Gus's no huddle does it keeps you from putting so you can game plan a bunch of different formations and packages yeah. And then you can't use them. Yeah, definitely. So a lot of sub package talk today, uh, and things of that sort. We have a lot of injury updates as well at AL.com. We'll have much more on that there. Some freshman news. Some freshman news, things of that sort. And really, they're getting to a point now in camp where they finally take their day off, and then we start finding out more. Hey, you should stay at AL.com for a video about that in the morning.